It's the Happy Families Podcast. I love you. No, it's as you wish. Oh, as <laughs> you wish. Hot. And the Oscar goes to... My mom and dad. Last week, with the help of JR, our magnificent producer we put together what I think is one of the best podcasts that we've ever done. It was like... We had our first trip to the Oscars. Let's be serious. (laughs) Did you like my speech at the end? Oh, (laughs) seriously, please don't do that again. I didn't thank you. You didn't. When I listened to her, I was like, I didn't thank my wife. Well, you did. I just got like an honourable mention tagged on the end (laughs) of everybody else. So I'm thanking you. You thanked your mum and dad before you thanked me. Well, I was... You thanked our children before you thanked me. I was just following a script. I should have thought about it more. I'm so sorry. But I'm thanking you now. You still now. haven't even dedicated a book to me. I, uh, uh, gosh. We should um, <laughs> we should just get on with the podcast before this degenerates into something really bad. My name's Justin Coulson. I'm a doctor of psychology and I've written six books about how to make your family happy. And you're spending the night in the doghouse. <laughs> Kylie's. So long as I'm watching a movie in the doghouse with you, that'll be fine. <laughs> Kylie's uh, my wife. The problem is we don't actually like the same movies. We're in big trouble. We don't even have a doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got six daughters, and we uh, we just uh, we did a podcast last week about the movies that you must watch with your little kids. It was kind of like a primary school aged uh, and younger movie list, and oh gee, it was fun. And the podcast was amazing. We'll link to it in the show notes. Please go back and listen to it. It was just great to listen to today. We've decided to extend the movie watching list because, I mean, let's face it, it's a really great shortcut to spending quality time with the kids. And sometimes when you can't get quality time, it's good to just sit down with the kids and watch a movie and it it brings you closer. Uh, Now, we need to make a disclaimer before we begin. Uh, In fact, probably two disclaimers. Number one, a lot of the movies that we're going to share with you and and, and we're going to share all the best bits that we can remember, but we haven't actually watched a few of these movies for a while. So our memories might be a little bit shabby. Number two, we just want to put a... An acknowledgement. Are you suggesting that we may have memories of these watching them as teenagers as opposed to watching them as parents? Is that what you I, mean? What I mean is that <laughs> some movies seemed really good when we watched them, but when we go back and watch them later, they're not nearly as good as we thought they were. Like The Goonies. I mixed up all this fake puke at home, and then I went to this movie theater, and then I made a noise like this. <laughs> the Goonies. I remember thinking this is a movie for kids. Or Grease? Grease. Grease. I got chills. They're multiplying. We took my sister to the, <laughs> what was it, the 20th it anniversary? It was the 20th anniversary, yeah, yeah. She was 12. We'd just gotten <laughs> married and she was staying with us and we took her to Grease and my mum was mortified. It's not as innocent as it seems, well, right? Well, no. We, I was sitting in there and as a now married woman, knowing every innuendo like, <laughs> and where it was leading and I was thinking... My goodness me, my sister's only 12. Yeah, what what have I done? What am I exposed to? Here, Frenchie, you can use my virgin pen. Yeah, it's nice to know. It's good for something. As a kid, all I remembered was the music. I didn't didn't know any of that stuff. So the the disclaimers are, number one, uh, some of the movies we know that we loved at some point and we think that we would love to watch them with our teens. Or we have watched them with the teens and they did love them. But disclaimer number two, in terms of content, you're on your own. Do your own research. Your values might be different to ours. And you might sort of think, hang on, you didn't talk about X, Y, and Z. Well, that might be because our values are different to yours. And there are some – like, I don't like watching movies with a whole lot of coarse language. Full stop in a story. Just – I don't like it. And well, one of the things that we've done with our kids, and I think that it's been really, really helpful, because even as a young married couple, I remember us going and watching a movie that was rated PG, and we looked at each other and went – Whoa. How did that make a PG? <laughs> right. And so as parents, we've just decided that those ratings are really just a guide. And just because it says it's PG does not mean by any circumstances that we let our children watch it unless we feel like it's right. Okay. Disclaimers are out of the way. Let's go through the list. Now, last week you did five in a row. In fact, you did about 53 because you just couldn't help yourself. Uh, we'll I reckon- take turns. We'll take turns. Okay. Let's take turns. You go first. Ladies before gentlemen. Oh, you're... Okay, I'll go first. That's fine. I'll go first. My number one movie was also in last week's list, but I love it so much and I think that every teenager should watch it if they missed it in their childhood and they should watch it multiple times anyway, even if they – I love you. No, it's as you wish. Oh, as (laughs) you wish. He didn't fall? Inconceivable. You keep using the word. 
I don't think it means what you think it means. The Princess Bride. It's the top of my list for everybody, no matter who you are, no matter where you are. Princess Bride, I love the pit of despair. Don't even think. <coughs> don't even think about trying to escape. Then I'm here till I die? Till I kill you. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Should I share my two teenage favourites, like as a teenager? Oh, okay, well, if you're doing that, so Princess Bride was one of mine. I'm going to share my other one. It was called North Shore, and it was a surfing movie. Shore, shore. Okay, brah. It restarts just about here, and it stretches all the way down to there. So when the wave breaks here, don't be there, or you're going to get drilled. Even to this day, I can still recite almost the entire script. I think you made me watch movie. that once. Yeah. Hey, it Harley. Was very unmemorable. Hi, Harley, you too. <laughs> he's so Harley, he doesn't even know he's Harley. Yeah, cool. You don't belong over here. Beat it, Harley, buddy. This is our waves. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't see your name. I, I could just keep <laughs> on going. I'll stop. What are your two favorites? I hope my mum's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what, are, what are we going to hear here, Mrs. Coulson? So, my, my big girls had to be very big before I let and watch them, mm-hmm. but my f- absolute favourites as a teenager was Pretty Woman with Julia Roberts. I tried to go get a dress on Rodeo Drive today, and the women wouldn't help me. And I have all this money now and no dress. Not that I expect you to help me, but I have to buy a dress for dinner tonight. Nobody will help me. And Dirty Dancing with Patrick Swayze. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Now I had the time of my life. The truth revealed. <laughs> Pretty risky for a teenager to be watching those. Well, so, so, I you know, might some, not have had permission to watch those. Some people right now are listening to this and thinking, oh my goodness, were you even allowed to watch Home and Away in your house? Like, I was not. No, no, neither was I. <laughs> No <laughs> wonder we get on so well. All right, so that were our favourite teenage movies. Uh, Princess Bride is still at the top of my movie list. Everyone should watch that. Um, do you want to do another one or should I dive in with my second one? Go for it. Okay, my second one may be one of the greatest movies of all time. Captain, my captain. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. Dead Poet Society, Robin yeah, it Williams. Was, it was literally at the top of my list. Just hands down, such a thought-provoking and deeply <laughs> meaningful movie. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. The Latin term for that sentiment is carpe diem. Now, who knows what that means? Carpe diem. That sees the day. So much impact. Yeah. Yes. Robin Williams, I just hands down, such an amazing actor and devastated when he died. Medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love... These are what we stay alive for. What a great movie. In just a sec, we're going to come back and share another handful of movies that we reckon every parent should watch with their teens. It's the Happy Families Podcast. Imagine a home where discipline got results without anyone having to feel bad or in trouble. The Do's and Don'ts of Discipline is a webinar to help parents set limits with love, compassion and humanity. Find it now at happyfamilies.com.au slash shop. It's the Happy Families Podcast, the podcast for the time poor parent who just wants answers now. And today we are sharing some of our favourite movies for teenagers. My next one. I'm going to sing it. You tell me if you know what it is. Everywhere we go, people People want to know who we are, where we come from. So we tell them. This is a football movie. Yes. And I, hmm, I can see it. Denzel forever Washington. Strong? No, it's not Forever no. Strong. That was good, but it's Remember the Titans. Oh, Remember the Titans. Yes, brilliant. Everybody, everybody has to watch that movie with their teenagers. Okay. So I've got a couple that I reckon are up there. Hidden Figures. Oh, yes. And I work like a dog day and night living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch. So we watched this a few years ago with the girls and number one, I love the empowerment of, yep. of girl power all the way and I just, I love that this movie celebrates a black woman and, and her amazing gifts and talents. Accomplishment, wow. It was just insane yeah. and, and it was such a great movie to watch with our girls and talk to them about all of the things that they can do with their potential. No more coloured restrooms. No more white restrooms. Plain old toilet. A few really funny ones that our girls have just loved. She's the Man was just literally at the top of the list for our girls. I can do this. I am a dude. I am a hunky dude. When we asked them movies to watch with parents and teens, 
She's the man. She's the man. Just such a fun movie. But again, it really touches on this idea that here's this girl and she's amazingly talented, but she's not recognised because she's a girl. Gender issues. Yeah, Great conversations, yeah. Really, really good conversation. And while we're on great soccer movies about teenagers, Ben like Beckham. Why don't you just get off her flaming back? If she's more interested in playing football right now and chasing boys, well, quite frankly, I'm over the moon about that. How good is that? Good movie, yes. Totally. Jumanji has to get a special mention. Any last words? Jumanji. No, Alan, no! I got a couple more. Okay, share. I'm going to give an honourable mention to Cinderella Man, Russell Crowe. He wants me to start working and get back in shape. I thought it was just the one fight. He fronted us $175 so I can train. You know what that is right there? That's a second chance. I just reckon sitting down and watching amazing sport movies with teenagers is fantastic. And when they've got a, an incredible, incredible story of persistence and doing something amazing, Russell Crowe, he's a boxer. It's the 1920s. Uh, if you're going to talk about Russell Crowe, mm. we can't go past Les Mis. Oh, musicals are awesome. We love musicals. Okay, I'll give you that. There is nothing on earth that we share. It is either Valjean or Chauvet. So my last couple. I love Matt Damon and We Bought a Zoo. Thanks. I mean, I don't know anything about animals and zoos. I mean, it's a... It is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Sometimes you don't know what it is until you see what it is, you know? I didn't write that one down, but I was actually thinking about that one. It was a really good movie. Such a great movie. This one you might not remember. How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I, I've never seen it. So much fun and such a great movie for kids to watch. Uh, like it's, it's such a great teenage movie. Skipping school for the day, stealing a Ferrari or borrowing a Ferrari or whatever it is. My father spent three years restoring this car. It is his love. It is his passion. It is his fault he didn't lock the garage. It's, it's just such a fun and funny movie. I asked for a car. I got a computer. How's that for being born under a bad sign? The Last of the Mohicans. If English law cannot be trusted, maybe these people would do better making their own peace with the French. That is sedition! That is the truth! Teens love big emotions, and this is a heavy and kind of bloodthirsty movie. And, and, and my goodness, it's, it's tragic at every level. And yet, when I was a teenager, I loved The Last of the Mohicans. Daniel Day-Lewis, the soundtrack just takes you away. Oh, those soundtracks are amazing. Mm. So that's our list. Have we missed anything? Do you want to make any more honourable mentions, Mrs. Happy Families? No, I'm done. (laughs) Okay. JR, thank you again for an extraordinary job putting together a podcast for the ages. Uh, We really hope that you've enjoyed it and we'd love for you to join us in the Facebook chat. What movies do you reckon teenagers should be watching, shouldn't be watching? What are your favourite ones to watch with the teenagers? What are the teenagers like the most? Let us know on Facebook. We've set up a post there so that you can jump in and join the conversation. As always, we do appreciate not just JR and his great work, Justin Rulon from Bridge Media, but also Craig Bruce, our executive producer, for his ideas and his massaging of what we do on the podcast. If you enjoy it, please leave us a five-star rating and review at Apple Podcasts so other people can find out about it. Oh, and if you'd like to know how you can make your family happier, whether it's watching movies, having outings, or just having good old-fashioned face-to-face conversations, you can find all the answers you need and a whole lot of resources at happyfamilies.com.au.